Happy Monday guys, I had a really busy weekend, I had an Immersion CSA course in London, then an Immersion GP Stays 3 course in London, just dropped Ari to school on the way to the office, thought a really good video on pityriasis vesicular and how to manage this really common fungal infection according to NICEKS. Remember, pityriasis vesicular is a fungal infection, remember, caused by a yeast, and it's usually asymptomatic, but it can cause a bit of itch, but you get these hyperpigmented patches on the shoulders, the upper back, the upper chest, and it usually presents in the summertime. So how do you manage it? If it's local, like in a small patch, for example, you might think about a, you know, an antifungal cream like clotrimazole or, ket or a ketoconazole. But if it's more extensive coverage, and that's how it normally presents, then there are two shampoos, according to NICEKS, that we might be thinking about. Number one, ketoconazole shampoo, 2%, applied once a day, five days in a row, and you leave it on for five minutes each time before you rinse it off, or selenium sulfide shampoo, 2.5%, again, once a day, shouldn't be used in pregnancy, it's an off-label medication. You use it for seven days this time and you leave it on for 10 minutes before you rinse it off. So two key shampoos for pityriasis vesicula. Have a look at NICEKS for more information. Much more teaching like this on our clinical audiobook courses, our clinical online academy courses, and our day courses as well. Hashtag can pass, will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora. Have a great day.